see how many stocks I got? Do you see how many stocks I got? Do you see how much I'm worth? So give me a loan. And you know, these people who are successful in stocks, they do everything in their power to avoid selling. They do. Elon Musk took a loan against his stocks. And he went to the bank and he was like, look, this is my guarantee. You see how many stocks I got? Do you see how many stocks I got? Do you see how much I'm worth? So give me a loan. Give me a mortgage or whatever. So they gave him a loan and he, he did whatever he wanted to do with it. Beyonce and Jay-Z took a mortgage to buy their mansion. These people are not using their own money. They're using the bank's money. Even though right on this, on this channel, I tell you to avoid those credit cards, those loans, I tell you to avoid them. But what I'm trying to say is that you need to avoid bad debt. There's something called bad debt and there's another thing called good debt. And what I'm talking about right now is good debt. Some people have good debt. What Elon has is good debt. What Jeff has is good debt. What Beyonce and Jay-Z have, that's good debt. But what you have is bad debt. If, he, if you're using a credit card, that's bad debt. If you're using that buy now, pay later, that's bad debt. If you have a mortgage, that's a bad debt. But not just any mortgage is a bad debt. You can have a mortgage, a mortgage, but you have assets on the other hand. You can have a mortgage here and assets on this hand. Like Elon, like I was saying, he has a mortgage, but have you seen his assets? The stocks. So basically he's paying less by paying, by paying back his loan with the interests that go with it. He's paying less that he, than he would have paid if he was to sell his stocks and then pay taxes on those stocks to buy a house. That would have been too much. He would have been losing that. You, you got to understand these people, they think about all of that. And if you, if you can't think about all of that, you need a financial advisor. Now I actually work in a bank and um, one of my colleagues was, was explaining to me that uh, they had this client and like this client has like he has actually invested in a like for a while in, um, in stocks right and he wanted to sell those to buy a Porsche. If you don't know what a Porsche is, that's a luxury, that's a luxury car. I don't know if it's Italian or something. I don't know nothing about cars. Honey, I, I don't know nothing about cars. Anyways, he wants, he wanted to buy a luxury car. And my colleague was like, why would you do that? Like, don't sell those to buy a, like you're selling those to buy a liability. So he was, he actually advised him to take a loan, a consumer loan to buy the Porsche. He was determined to buy that Porsche. He wanted a Porsche as he should because he's been working hard, making that money. So he wants a Porsche. I mean, as he should. So he actually took a loan, a consumer loan, like my colleague smartly advised him. And that was great. That was great for him. And that was actually a good, a good thing to do because he actually was about to, you know, sell the stocks that he, he had and then pay taxes on top of that to buy a liability? Like, do you imagine how that does so? It's just not smart. It's like you have assets, you're selling your assets and then paying taxes on those assets to buy a liability. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. Like, am I loud enough? Do I need to, like, do I need to yell for the people in the back? Those people in the back might not hear me. Do I need to yell? So this example that I just gave you just goes to show that you got to be smart. Oh my God, I'm saying some good stuff right now, but my phone is not cooperating. Like I don't have enough space because I actually film on my phone, guys. I actually film on my Samsung. It's an old Samsung, whatever, but it, I feel like it does a decent job, right? Anyways, as I was saying, you need to take a lesson in that example that I just gave you. That needs to be an example to you. 
just be smart be smart about your finances about your personal finances and if you can't think like that like i said before just take a financial advisor they're gonna go there that's a good investment because we want to be wealthy that's what we want to be we want to be wealthy but we don't need to sweat to be wealthy i mean we're gonna sweat we're gonna sweat that's for sure we're gonna sweat but in a different way we're go going to make our brain work correctly so the, the motto of this video is know the way you make your money change the way you gain your money change the way you make your money and you need to know the difference between good debt and bad debt don't be paying no interest rates on no buy now pay later for a bag like for some clothes for some shopping like for are you for real you need to to be smart and this comes with with a lot of sacrifices too you got to make a few sacrifices because for you to actually put aside like a few, like some money for like 6 months or a year you got to make sacrifices for you to have an emergency fund you got to make some some sacrifices why do you go eat, why do you eat at McDonald's 24/7 like why do you do that mcdonald's is actually pretty disgusting i don't like it so why 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 do you do that you don't need to eat at kfc chicken wings or whatever. like you don't need all that like the fast food you need to stop it and change your habits you need to change your habits for you to get to this goal you need to change your whole habits and if you really want this that bad you gotta make some sacrifices that's just obvious to me do you know a friend who may need this information? If you know a friend who need, who's in need, who may need this information, share this video. Share if you care. Sharing is caring. Promise you that friend of yours is going to appreciate what you just done, what you just did. Sorry. Anyways, thank you so much for watching though. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'ma cut this. I'ma cut that. I'ma cut this. I'm gonna cut this part. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it.